Hi there, my name is Stuart Oliver, and in this video I'm going to be having a look at Flemington Bridge Station and the immediate surrounding area in regards to the positive and negatives of the design. Flemington Bridge Station is located about 2 kilometres northwest of the Melbourne CBD and is on the upfield train line. This area seems to be most noteworthy due to the large amount of multi-lane roads surrounding it. You have Mount Alexander Road to the north, Racecourse Road to the south, and the CityLink Toll Road dominating the space above it. Well, this makes a really interesting challenge for an urban designer to try and find a way for people to exist in this very car-dominated landscape. The first positive that I want to highlight is the Debney's Park area. Uh, this is really an oasis of life and community in quite a lifeless area altogether. The scenery goes from this to this within just a 50 metre walk. Uh, the use of trees to surround the area is really great because not only do they breathe life into this mostly concrete area, but they protect the park from the unpleasant sights and sounds of the hectic surroundings with all the big buildings and cars. Within the park lies a lot of important community facilities such as play areas and a community centre. The park is a very distinctive place in the area and feels very separate from its surrounds. Second positive aspect that I want to focus on is the upfield bike path and more specifically the overpass which actually makes the area a lot more accessible for people. Uh, the upfield bike path is a trail that runs from the Flemington Bridge all the way to Coburg North following the train line. The bike trail is really well integrated into the area because it avoids the large and really pedestrian unfriendly Mount Alexandra Road that it needs to cross in order to get to the station and overpasses it instead. This gives pedestrians and cyclists easy access to Flemington Bridge and connects the area to Parkville and the beautiful parkland there. The first negative that I want to address is the lifelessness of the streets in the area. Uh, the streets in the area are almost completely devoid of any human activity and there seems to be no real reason to be there as a pedestrian except for simply passing through. There are practically no stores or restaurants bringing life along the streets. Uh, they've got very narrow footpaths and I was personally shocked that I could not find a cup of coffee within the five minute walk of the station. And lifelessness also brings me on to the final point that I have about the area is that it can at times feel unfriendly and unsafe. This is especially noticeable at night as many of the places are quite dark and disconnected from the surrounding area which may make people worry about going through them. Uh, many of the major pedestrian routes go through places in which no one else can see you and that lack any kind of visibility that can make you feel vulnerable, especially as these paths often tend to go underneath bridges and be in places where there's lots of bushes. 